take off. A little bit rocky. Borough Hill is over that way in the haze. Let's just chill out and get over there. takeoff took a long time it's not the day to show up to a tiny field with almost half a tank of fuel a tent so you make an equipment basic camping kit and nil wind in a tiny field my mind was just starting to wonder whether I should have bought but once again it's good to be up had a really stressful couple of days. So I had this in the calendar with Nigel, who I haven't flown with for ages, it seems. And uh, everything, anyone who rang me for anything, it was like, no, Wednesday, I'm, I'm off, I'm going out. Uh, for 895 feet between me and you lot. On your left, you will see the uh, M1 motorway. Get rocked about a bit if you can see that wing. See, it's Nigel's descending, maybe to a smoother area. Some smoke over there, not going anywhere very fast. See the land does rise up over there. Generally very flat going um, east. Back where I was flying the other day, the fence. And it starts to get a bit more hilly over here. I just live on a flat bit. smoke down there is just coming up and wafting. It is a nil winder. It's hardly drifting anywhere. What little wind there is, I'm flying into it. Yeah, I can see Nigel getting gusted about over there. Yeah, I think it might be thermals. Let's try and concentrate and see what's happening. Well, there, the, the Vario on this app is awful paired with this tablet. Definitely getting pushed to my right. Yeah, I think I can see Borough Hill directly ahead. I think that's it. Just the other side of that wind turbine, if you can see it. Gorgeous day. We've still got this inversion in the UK. You can see it misty down below and clear just up there. I reckon if I went a bit higher, I'd find the layer and it would appear like it did the other day, like that sharp line across the horizon. Oh, we could do that. Get up and see if it's any smoother. Still not at the layer, but you can see it's a little bit sharper. 
first time I've seen this. Well, this week's the first time I've seen this. Cold up here. Right, so that is Borough Hill ahead of me with Daventry behind it. Let's start descending a little bit. Got another pilot possibly flying over to meet us on the hill. Old Mark Nurse. The ever jovial Mark Nurse. He'd be coming from that direction if he was coming. Slow going. 21, 22 miles an hour. I'm apt saying a 10 mile an hour headwind up here, so should be a nice quick flat home. Where is he going? That looks like cattle in that field. So I'll go over to where Nigel is. down here where old aerials used to be. for me, not level ground, lots of concrete everywhere, let's do it. Don't hit that one. Muddy. Well, we landed. Not in the field we were planning to land in because there was cattle in there. But, uh, so we're not sure if we're allowed to be here, probably not, but we're going to have a quick coffee anyway. And it looks like a reverse launch. If um, animals turn up, we can do well to put our equipment on top of this concrete. Yeah. And then get besieged by cows. Yeah. Well, the car park is that far away. It's a few hundred yards in, in a dire emergency. <laughs> Okay, are we rolling? We are rolling. Much windier over here 
than we were led to believe. Mind you, it feels like it's dropped. It's dropped! Yeah, I need it to be dropped like this because of that chase cam. So we had to land in a different field than we normally would because uh, the other one had cows in. So this one's on the side of the hill. Uphill launch. We got rotor and tumble coming off the far side of the hill. Not a nil wind day anymore. In fact, we've just seen a, a glider being towed, which isn't good news really, because that means it's uh, thermally. Let's see how Nigel gets off. Yeah, I think you can wait for a lull and get a forward in. And if Nigel says forward, then I'm going to take his word for it. And he does know how to do a reverse. Da, da, da. As much as I'm nervous about this, it is good practice. Strange field, strange wind, uphill launch. I mean, look at this underfoot, it's crazy. It's going to be a learning experience. Right, let's get you on. See that smile on his face? That looked very easy. Mind you, he makes most things look easy. Look at you blowing my wing, you sod. Yeah, be up in a minute, Nigel. Just to uh, set my wing out again. Da 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 da. Yeah, I think I might have been a bit lucky here. This wind feels like it's dropped a bit. Also, chase cam here. So I can't really do a reverse with that. Engine started. Started first time, Mr. Leach. Thanks very much for sorting that out. I'll be able to do it myself next time now I know what the score is. Okay, get ready for a bit of a pullback. But I need to get going. go again. I'm just wait for this grass to stand up. That's not moving, okay. some lift. The wing went off to the right so very slowly my brain realised that and I ran right, pulled the right, no left brake, the correct brake. Um, I didn't want to go down again so I did everything I could to try and save that. Interesting morning. Taken off with lots of weight and nil wind in a tiny field. Landing on the side of a hill. Trying to take off uphill in gusty rotary wind. Straight up into 
rocky air. rocking around up there. Gotta remember that's the lines rocking and also my leg so it's not as bad as it looks. But if you're just starting out it's uh, the rocking. When it first comes you think you're gonna die and then slowly you build up your tolerance and you realize it's nothing to, nothing to worry about. Chase Camp's doing. I'm not the biggest fan of having that behind there. It's a consideration on launch. You know, nice flat field, a little bit of wind or whatever, or a nil wind, fine. You, just, you can't have it there if you're um, doing a reverse, so it'll hit you in the face. And get tied around everything when you span around. And then wind your wing right into the prop, put the centre down. Well, I'm sort of guessing where this field is. This field's not ideal as well. I think it's nice and useful on the right day, with the right wind direction. But there's, uh, there's lots of trees and roads causing stuff around it. Yeah, thermally up here. I assume it's thermally. I think it's probably a, a mixture of... Well, I guess gusts are caused by thermal thermally, I suppose. So, spring's on the way, winter's drawing to an end. The all-day flying is going to be not possible or not as nice. I'm sort of guessing where we're going here. So, I've got to keep my eyes on Nigel. There's the lift tower over there. Looks like something out of a sci-fi film. I think it's a listed monument now. 38 miles an hour, so we're getting back. Yeah, that's got to be thermals. If I had a decent barrier. I can tell. This engine is purring along now. I'm still chucking oil out of that breather tube. I think I'll give Bailey a call. I'm going to chat to somebody who knows. Okay, we're doing okay. Oh, sink. Rotor. Horrid off nice and fast Ooh, that was a foot drag <laughs> that'd be interesting to see on the chase cam 
technically that was a foot drag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>